Punishment for trying to do something good. That's what one Winthorpe family is calling. A junior high student was given an ultimatum over his long hair. So Talia Do Bravo sat down with the family earlier this morning to see what they think about all this. Talia. Yeah, I'm sure we've all heard of kids growing out their hair to cut and donate to children with various medical conditions. But by doing just that, one student found himself in the middle of a school debate. It was... It was hard as, as a, a mom and a wife having to have that conversation of where do we draw the line and why would we draw the line. For Luke McCorkle, it wasn't the first time he decided to grow his hair out for a good cause. I was in third grade when I cut it. It was a week before our town completely shut down during that spring break and it was very big for me, a very ach good achievement that I felt like a ton of people could benefit from, even if it was only one. Wigs for Kids, a nonprofit organization that helps children suffering from hair loss stemming from chemotherapy, radiation therapy, alopecia, burns, and other medical causes, but once Luke's hair started touching his shoulders, there was a problem. Three days of ISS, and then it was, um, it was in school and after school detention during his lunch and, and break periods. And then after that, they said he was gonna, um, after the school board meeting, after we fought and appealed everything, um, they said, if he doesn't cut his hair, we will escalate it to ISS, out of school suspension, and then alternative education. Winthorps ISD believed Luke's hair length violated the dress code. William Paul, superintendent of Winthorps ISD, says the school district does not comment on student matters per district policy and law. Luke says he was just attempting to help people. Every day you can walk around cities and towns and see people in need, and you can't always help them. Then when it comes to people you can not help, you would want to try and help them, and that's what I was attempting to do. The McCorkles were met with an ultimatum. Proceed to grow his hair or risk his future. The teasing and harassment and just emotional highs and lows that he went through were for eight inches that we can't do anything with. I didn't want to risk him having that. Uh, we could have still fought with the school, but it, the responses we got from the school board and the administration were not very welcoming at all. And they were staying steadfast uh, in their decisions on uh, punishing Luke. While Luke had to face the scissors, the family's hoping no one else has to go through this. The eight inches Luke had to cut off were not even able to be donated. Now for the full statement from Winthorpe's ISD, you can check that on the story over on our website. Okay, thank you so much, Talia.